So Spider-Man goes through the whole multiverse thing again. My brain is gonna die. Wow, how original. So I'm pretty sure everyone knows that Tom Holland's Spider-Man 4 will once again be a multiverse event. And I get it, I mean, this is the multiverse saga, that's why we're seeing this in every movie or series that comes out. What surprises me is that people got tired of it so quickly. <laughs> I mean, because maybe not every movie has actually been that good, so... Mm. But well, now it's probably almost 100% sure that Spider-Man 4 will dive into the multiverse again. And look, I'm saying this based on what we've all heard, don't believe what I said because it's not like, you know, 100% confirmed. But it is the strongest rumor so far, which I really hope ends up being false. So what we know is this, it will be set between Doomsday and Secret Wars. The multiverse will come into play again, obviously, and it's gonna be taking place in Battle World. <laughs> and that's all I know. <laughs> Possibly the return of Toby and Andrew. And I say possibly because they haven't even said anything about it. I mean, it could probably be a multiverse movie without them. But if they do come back, will it work with, like, No Way Home? Look, for me, I don't think it will. You really can't do the same trick twice. Because bring them once and it feels like a very powerful and emotional event. Bring them twice and that magic fades away. It's not gonna have the same impact it had with No Way Home. It's gonna be more like, oh, hey, you guys are here again. That's cool, you know, good for you. Good to see you back. That would be my reaction. Probably some of you do want them to come back. And I do as well, but bringing them back almost instantly, it just feels so forced. I would rather watch the story they originally had intended, a street-level Spider-Man. Because that's what they were going for and they just took it away from us. We were this close, guys. Possibly with Kingpin as a villain and Daredevil as an ally. And that's what I like about these Spider-Man movies. I mean, they always bring something new. Spider-Man Homecoming were the early high school years and learning to be a hero. Far From Home took us out of New York to travel to other places. I know a lot of people hate Far From Home. I just... Don't get why, they gave you something new and Oh, oh, that's not what Spider-Man is about. Oh, what is he doing over there? Oh. And No Way Home brought the multiverse with Toby and Andrew and the villains from their movies. The original Spider-Man 4 would have kept the tradition of bringing something new. And it looks like it won't. Maybe Battle World is the new thing to bring, but it's still the multiverse, which already happened in the third movie. Despite me complaining about this, I am gonna watch it, but I don't think I'll watch it in theaters. But I really don't think it's gonna work. I feel like this is gonna end up like Doctor Strange 2 or Ant-Man 3. Promising a lot and delivering very little. But hey, at the end of the day, I might be wrong and maybe the movie ends up being way better than expected. But that's a big ass maybe. So in conclusion, I'm not really excited for Spider-Man 4. I was more excited when it was a street level movie. F you, Sony. F. You. But hey, that is just my opinion and those are just my thoughts. Tell me what you gals and guys think about Spider-Man 4 in the comments below. Give me a like, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, link is down below. I am Louis, thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Hope everyone is doing okay, and I will see you all next time. Take care. You know, you always lose me when you say that. You say, the fate of the multiverse is at stake, and my brain dies. I don't know, I just wanted to do a Peter B. Parker impression. I'm not sure if that was good enough, or probably bad enough. I don't know. Just subscribe and watch my videos, please. I want some money.